All right, what is up you guys? Thank you for clicking on the video today. So in this video, I have a really cool new product to show you. This is a, this is sort of a tuning product. And I think the, those of you who've been following along with my tuning crash course videos, I think you'll really find this product useful. Before I explain to you what it is, let me get it printed and assembled, and then I will explain to you what it does. So let's get printed. So here is the final product. If you weren't able to tell from the assembly videos, this is a test connector button for Subarus. So if you don't know, when you are tuning Subarus, you wanna reflash the ECU, you have, to re you have to plug in these test connectors. And they're these green little connectors that you just plug them into each other, reflash the car, and then when you're done, you unplug them and then all it does is it connects two wires and then puts the car into test mode so that you can reflash the computer so you have to do this every time you want to reflash the car so if you make some changes while you're tuning and you need to put the new tune on it you have to plug these in flash it unplug them which doesn't sound like a big deal but until you realize where these are and these are located underneath the passenger side dashboard so at the very bottom of the dashboard there's some wires they're tucked behind the the carpet and you have to like dig them out but to be in the driver's seat and have to reach down there and plug these in with one hand it's kind of a pain um, one of the viewers actually commented and said that he had wired them into a button and i was like that's a good idea and i initially thought to wire it into my switch panel but i was thinking it would be kind of cool if i could make something that's a plug and play system that plugs in without having to modify the wiring and that gives it like a kind of a clean finish that was the inspiration for designing this product so this switch has a latching button so this is test mode that is not test mode on the back here we have a male and female terminal blade terminals which match what is on the factory connectors and this initially may seem like a janky setup but there's a reason i did it this way the other option that i initially considered was for each one buying these test connectors from iWire and actually having them like click into the 3D print so that you have like the actual test connector receptacle and plug that can plug into the 
corresponding ones in your car to buy a set of these it's $24 instantly raises the price of the product by $24 so that just automatically makes the product less appealing to you guys less obtainable to you guys so I want to make this as you know cost effectively as I can so that I can sell it for a reasonable price and part of that is you know if you have to buy a product from a different company to include in your product that just instantly raises the price. So for the sake of keeping the price on this product down, I purchased these plain old spade connectors that will actually plug into the factory plugs. These uh, terminals from my hardware supplier basically comes out to um, 20 cents per um, part. So quite the price savings there. Um, so that's why I did it this way, but let me show you how this works. So there's a little bit of, of slack you can see in the wire. That's so you can plug them into the connectors. And then the actual 3D print has an area where they plug into. So the idea behind this is, is you go underneath your car and I'll, I'll show you the installing this in a second. So you can kind of hold this up against itself, plug it in to the terminal. Same thing with this one. Plug it into the terminal. So now these are plugged in and flopping around. So to make it, you know, more clean, you just press these in and they latch on to the 3D print. Now they're connected, held in place. And then I have two mounting holes here so you can screw it into the bottom of the dashboard plastic. This is the general idea of the product. Um, so let's get it installed and I will show you how it works. Down here on the passenger side, you can see we have these two little test connectors down here. This is where they're located and from the driver's seat they are a bit hard to plug in with one hand. Uh, so you can come, you can get out of your car and plug them in down here. There's another option, but these are normally tucked up underneath the dashboard here. Mine are always just hanging out there um, since I'm always putting new tunes on the car and stuff like that. So it looks like there's enough like play in the wires that I can mount it kind of anywhere right up in this area. So just to be safe to not drill into anything that's underneath here, I'm just gonna pop this panel out and I'm pretty sure it's just these three clips, I'll pop it out and I can screw on the, uh, the button. Uh, I think I'm going to mount it right here. Uh, this is a little far back, but uh, I think it's still gonna be easy enough to reach the button, but not have it like too far out that it's like kind of hanging off and getting in the way of anything. So um, I think maybe we'll mount it right here. I'm just going to use the screw here to mark my mounting hole position. Okay, that's all we need. Okay, so now put our switch down. We just want to get it snug. We don't want to strip out our plastic thread that we just cut. So now it's mounted on there nice and firm. You can press the button, it doesn't move around. So let's get this back installed in the car. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in before we get too far on the install here. They are plugged in now. So we can put this back in place all the way. Now we have our button installed. Test connectors are plugged into the back and now they're, you know, neatly tucked up out of the way. So your passenger is not going to kick them with their feet. And the button is nice and out of the way. So it's not going to get kicked by anybody's feet either. Not going to lie. Those were kind of a pain to install uh, the wires into the back of because there's not too much wiggle room in the wires. But at least it's only a pain once. And then from now on, we just have to press the button to, to reflash. So little pain now no pain later. Okay, so now let me show you them in action. So when the car enters test mode, you're able to tell because the like radiator fans will kick on and usually there's like an error message on your dashboard. At least how, that's how it is for my car. But right now the button is in the out position. So that means that the wires are not connected. So when we turn the car on, everything's normal, not in test mode. Now, if you were to just press the button, it wouldn't enter test mode. You have to turn the ignition off then 
will come down here, press the button, and then when we turn the key back on, it should be in test mode. So you hear the, the fans going? So that means it's in test mode. So you reflash your car, and then it'll prompt you to turn the ignition off. Turn the ignition off, come back here, press the button, key back on, back to normal. So super easy, uh, way easier than plugging in those connectors. I can reach it from the driver's side, no problem. So it's pretty sweet. So this just solved a couple problems. Our test connectors are up out of the way now, not in danger of getting stepped on and ripped out. And when we're reflashing the car, it's much easier to come over here and hit the button. I think this is a pretty awesome idea. And I thank you to the uh, viewer who recommended doing this. And now we have a nice, clean, and effective way of entering test mode. And that will make my life a whole lot easier. So if you would like to buy one of these Subaru Easy Flash test connector buttons for yourself, you can go to swspeedco.com or click the link in the description below, as well as clicking the shop tab will bring you directly to the product. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you know of somebody who might like this video, please share it with them. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.